Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to build this birdhouse and the cool thing about it is it has a shelf at the top which, uh, which you can put your cam wireless camera on and you can see inside the birdhouse while the birds are laying eggs and feeding the babies and it makes it really fun and interactive. To start with, I'm going to cut all the pieces to the right length. And the first two pieces are going to be the sides of the birdhouse, which uh, is 12 inches long. And all these dimensions are on the plans provided on the website, so you can go and, and get those. But then also the third piece will be the front of the birdhouse at ten and a half inches and the back is eleven and three quarters and then then I'll cut two pieces for the roof of the birdhouse uh, two pieces because I want it to overlap on all sides and provide some shelter for the hole and provide some shelter for the ventilation holes to keep rain from getting in and then there'll be a piece for the bottom of the birdhouse, which is uh, five inches by five inches. And the shelf that, that goes inside for the camera will be five inches by five and a half inches. And that extra half inch is because I'm gonna make some dados for that to slide in and it'll, it'll be in the sides of the birdhouse. In order for the birdhouse to have a sloping roof, I'm going to cut the two sides at a 15 degree angle and that will allow the water to run off and also create a nice overhang for the hole. To match that 15 degree angle on the sides of the birdhouse, I'm going to cut a 15 degree bevel on the top of the front of the birdhouse. So that way when the roof slips down, it'll be flush with the uh, sides of the front. Here I'm gluing together the two pieces that will form the roof of the birdhouse. I'm marking here where the dados will go for the camera shelf. So I'm just trying to locate it low enough that the camera will fit in under the roof without hitting that and also so they'll be high as possible and give as much room to the birds in the box. This one half inch router bit is just wide enough for the width of the board of the camera chef to fit. I'm drilling here a one and one quarter inch hole for the entrance. Although the size of this hole could be different depending on what kind of bird you want to use the house. Uh, so after drilling this hole, I'm creating some slots in the front of the birdhouse under the hole so that the baby birds or even the adult birds could use to help climb out. I glued together the pieces and used brad nails to hold it together until the glue dried, which works pretty well, although you could use screws simply to attach it together. Uh, one 
problem I found with this method of gluing is the brad nails, since the, the wood is a half inch thick, sometimes came out the side of the wood, uh, and particularly because this is oak and pretty hard. But otherwise, it, this method did well. And I've also done it with screws, which also does well. I added hinges to the back of the birdhouse in order to have it work like a door and make it easy to clean out the birdhouse. I use my drill press with a one and a half inch Forstner bit to create this indention on the side of the door for the hinges. And this worked pretty well, it was uh, easier than chiseling out that material although you could use a chisel to do the same thing and I just attached the hinges with some short screws I created the camera shelf by uh, using a template that I made and I drew this square where I where I know the camera is going to go in this case I'm using a link camera but if you had a different kind you could change the size of this hole so it would fit it better um, but to start with I drill a hole in this uh, so I can get my router bit in there and I use a flush cutting uh, router bit to cut this square out and then from there I use a second router bit which creates a little shelf that's slightly bigger than the original hole and so the, the camera will sit right in that little shelf that's made by that second router bit and then it can see through the smaller squ square and be able to video the birds inside. Here's the finished birdhouse and if you're interested you can check out some of my other videos where I show some footage from inside the birdhouse uh, some bluebirds nesting in one case and, and also later some flying squirrels. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.